A reading from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 14, verses 32 to 50. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again, he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still see sleeping and taking rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. And let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and scribes and elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him. At once, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested Jesus. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me, though I were a bandit? Day after day, I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of them deserted him and fled. I hate waiting, hanging around for something to begin. Um, and in the morning, sitting there, looking at the alarm clock as it inevitably ticks away until the time when I have to get up. It's nice and cosy in bed, it's comfortable, it's warm, rather than face the world and all that's likely to be thrown at it. In today's step along the road of the passion story we hear of Jesus waiting in the garden of Gethsemane waiting for something to happen the disciples were with him they it seems did not have an alarm clock they were asleep because the wait was too much and Jesus used this time this time before the events that we know so well begins to reflect upon what actually is about to happen. To speak to God, to pour out his heart 
and in the end to accept the will of God, even if it was not truly what he would have wished it to have been. And then suddenly, and without warning almost, the wait is over. Judas appears and betrays Jesus with that most loving, but also most awful of signs, a kiss, a greeting between friends. Rabbi, and a kiss, and Jesus is marked out, dragged away as the story of the passion in Psalms. So often we are just dragged away from our own contentedness and quietness. The alarm clock in the morning abruptly wakes us as we begin a new day. Whether it's that we wish to, a day we're looking forward to, or a day we're dreading, time marches on and the day begins. And we have no choice but to begin a new beginning. Amen. Heavenly Father, as Jesus waits in the garden and reflects upon your call upon him, may we too reflect upon the call we receive from you to do the things that are pleasing, to do the things that we would wish to do, but also at times, Father, to do those things which we would rather not do things that would be difficult and hard. May we always remember that during those good times and in those bad, that the strength to do them is not from us ourselves, but through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.